<sighs> Should we tell you? And uh, you know what it is. This is what I'm saying. Come. 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 Welcome back. My name is Emma Forsen. Today I'm with my brother Gabriel Forsen and we are going to do the sibling tag. On Instagram, I asked you guys to send me some of the questions and we're going to answer your questions in this video. The first question is, who is the best cook? I think we both know. But the whole family knows. <laughs> Whoever he is, he's wearing blue. Probably with a tie on his neck or something, you know. So yeah. he is the traditional cook. I, I cook. He's very good at traditional gourmet. stuff. I just don't bake. I am more. The creative. reason why he's saying I, I, am I more cook creative. traditional what 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 is because he just wants to give himself the baby whatever yeah, I am the baby. You know how that's the call. Hey. I go to the big. When I pack, see the big buffet. <laughs> pack see that buffet. That's cool. See. That but, that's not baking. Now I can be frying. You see, it's still it's flat. Supposed to be the best cook. You don't even know what you're doing. It's still Oh. You've answered the question. I'm the best cook. See, the thing is, if, it, hey. if you want to be very creative hey. in the kitchen, you're looking for someone who's very creative, you know, that's me. Like, I can enter the kitchen and make anything. And I don't know what I'm making, no, but I'll still be good. You know but people, he's very good at, like, you know, you know people, the whatever, fried rice. Whatever makes us sleep at night. It's basically that. Second question If you could replace Emma with another celebrity as your sibling, who would it be? <laughs> my bro, my bro, Asa, Asa. We the oh you, we the you. Come on. Uh, by the way, I joined his corporate, you know, because like you know he's pharmacist and stuff. So I was like, you know, let me just chip in. If, Wear one if, of if I was to replace my name, I would be near that celebrity. I think I would replace her with Emma Foster. Why? Because. In my first right now is a celebrity. Me, I think it's a celebrity because for me, I feel like she has a lot, a whole lot of potential. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> the other funny thing, when I put no camera on, but who's saying comes? You know what I'm saying? 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 Hey, what you getting at? So, with an amount. So I repeat that I'm with Emma Fawcett because Emma Fawcett is an entrepreneur, she's a graduate from Manchester University, she's a mechanical engineer, she's a model, you know all of that. So if, if I was young and I had that as a sister, I'm sure you know, I have a lot of girls in my pocket. You see how my pocket is empty, nothing being said. If back then I had that sister, I would love Why say I'm your plug or something? Nah, I mean she was a model and she would be influencing me to also train, do squats. You know when you do squats, squats increases your testosterone, you understand? So maybe my sperm would have come earlier. You know, that's just speaking as a pharmacist. Your sperm would have come earlier. Yeah, but yeah, more testosterone, you know. No, one plus one is equal to five. Um, okay, then we move to the next one. What is one big brother moment you've had together? When I'm driving this girl around, they say, Jack, when people come from school, I'm like, yeah, I'm the boss. I'm the boss. So, what you don't rush with, with for certain days? As of now, still, she can't drive. Who said I can't drive? She can't drive for shit. <laughs> no, 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 automatic. Bro, I can drive. And manual. I can drive. Yo, oh. just that I always had him there to drive me around. So I never really had to practice. Ooh, I can I still drive. You had me there to drive me around. Yeah. You might open your mouth. It just take me there. I'm no, no. I out. see. I really ask mama for things. I really ask for things in the house. But when I do, <laughs> most of the time I had to do with transportation, like from school. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Those are the very few times that I came home because I, in uni I spent most of my time in school. I rarely spent vacations like at home. So it was very he got oh. the chance to do that, you know, a small amount. Yep. What is one big sister moment you've had together? She can't bring up any trust me. She can't. She can't bring up any. None. Uh huh. She thought I had to create that as football. Ta, ta, ta. That was the only thing. That's all. And then when we were small, we are passing through the door, you see. Um, this is the bike on top. If I put my hand on top, it then she reflex now. She jump and she touch it, and then we couldn't touch. But I rather let her stand up. Let me stand up. Okay? So, no, make me stand up. Yeah, stand, stand up. up. No, yeah, stand up first. The big sister moments that we still <laughs> currently have are the times when you know I experienced 
some harsh part of life, you know, uh, you know, before he he did or he has ever done. I don't know if he really experienced life though. So. But um, you know, I'm the person that can give him the the straightforward, the honest answer and tell him how to go about things. Am I lying? Am I lying? Fuck no. She are going through a similar situation. So I mean, who else will I call? That's why I'm your big sister. If I want to the same thing, I don't want to. I'll call you call. wouldn't. Call if of call who no road. I want to just give me this. Oh boy. I think you want. I think you want. Oh boy. Or should we sleep tonight? I think you want. The next question is: What are your similarities? I like music. I like music. I like singing. I like singing. Love you. <laughs> Love you. That's it. I think that question should be asked before. No, I relax. Another similar, it's not by force, it's similar. It's life. God didn't make us similar. Okay, describe each other. Let her go first. Now, like, this is a now, current description. <laughs> current description of who the person was in scared? the past. Why are you running? Current description. Why are you scared, bro? Yo. Okay, Eja. If I say quarrel, means wrong. He said I should describe you this is, so the things you can't see that I can see that I'm coming yeah. to describe. Mm. Mm. Kweku baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know the light that Kweku baby do. Kweku baby. Let's go with my wife. Okay. All right. You're rapping up, baby. Okay. So, Eja <laughs> is a very sweet person. He's very caring. He is very emotional. He is. Very um very masculine. She is strong. Sexy, plays the piano. Huh? Sings. That's not that's not a description. Like who is a jack horse? Background. Is that your description? Huh? He's funny. You know, I mean you guys laugh a couple of times. Yeah, he can be funny too. Uh, um he he's opinionated, I'll say that. So you are sweet, caring, funny, opinionated, emotional. Um, you have he's, he has goals and an idea for his future, who he wants to be. He, he knows the identity he wants to put Straight out there. Up. Up. <coughs> so yeah, so that's basically. That's yeah. all. I mean, of course, we evolve, we grow, we change. So I, I demand mean, respect. <laughs> um, I, mean, I can't put enough emphasis on that. Because yeah. so when I treat people like as if they're human beings, yeah. like give them that human respect, that yeah. baseline respect. Yeah. Okay, I get it. But like with 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 parenting, I'm talking about with parenting. You know when they demand respect because I am your father, but not because you're doing what a father does. I mean, all the same, I still suppose respect everyone. No, okay. um, this is a learning moment for me. Yeah. I will. Just so I mean, she can add that in my description. I'm a teacher, a life teacher. I was born in 1999. But after 2021, I'm not 21. Yes, yeah, so you tend to describe me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Huh. I'm not I'm not even now answer my DJ forcing. Who is she? Very opinionated. A cry baby. Emotional. No, no, it's only for the movies. I'm actually only emotional in movies. I they lie. I mean, it's hard to describe you. No, but it's only, it's only in the movies. She's caring. Really? She's determined. She's deep. Let's go for the video. Yeah, <laughs> it can be in the video. She. Things get to her. But she actually doesn't give a fuck. Oh, she does. Um. I'm a very passionate about the things she does. Or what she puts her mind to. Or let me say, the purpose. She's very passionate about it. Like, fuck what she say. That's my purpose. I'm getting it done. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm and there are a lot of girls in my meet that admire her, but I don't tell her because her head is already big enough. My head is not big. I can't make it bigger. Same. No, I'm saying. For me, no, I'm I like to get fat. Eat a hundred burgers, sit on a boat, and laugh and niggas. Yeah, you like yeah. with us, we get it. Laugh and niggas. How did you know that was a girl? Because it sounds like him. You said you said if you mentioned food, you mentioned boats, you mentioned do you mention money? 
and love my videos. Yeah, that's definitely my process. You know what I'm saying? The next question is when are you releasing your next song? I mean that I think that's for you. Oh, okay, so I don't do this to promote. I don't promote, but let me just take, <laughs> take advantage. <laughs> I've released two. I thought I was going to release two this year before I finished school. And I did that. I released Tumbo and Control. So Control being gospel, Tumbo being, you know, the usual last song. And I think it's genius and mix between R&B and, and, and well, Afrobeat. No, but he calls it I make the what one I of feel our feeling. Me. Yeah, Jenna, whatever. I, I can get a heartbreak right now. I can get it. I'll write a song and I'll forget. I'll just leave it all in the song. Okay. You know? Nice. Yeah, I wrote one called Invested. Because I was too invested in a girl. I felt like, shit, I'm too invested to even leave. You know? But, you know, she knows herself. Whatever she is. She knows how much I love her. So. I'm still in there. Anyways. still in my heart. Anyways, anyways, the question uh, is. Yeah, would you want a big family like ours or a smaller family? Bigger. Probably like you are what you want, but it doesn't, right? See, I don't want it. I like how big we are. I like the benefits of us being big. Like you always have somebody to talk to. You always have somebody you can vibe with. The problem was not having enough privacy. But and you know, like I like the fact that I have siblings. Like we are, I we love that. I wouldn't want my kids to have just one sibling. Everyone love that. I, I wouldn't want them to have like at least two siblings. So I'm looking between three to four kids. Yeah, that's for me. But bigger, bro. If he has, he's, he, I mean, because he's gonna be making all that money, I'm down for that. Yeah. If he wasn't gonna be making any much money, yeah. I'll just tell him like point blank that there's no point. There's no tattoo like in my on my chest that says "Born to Lose." I'm gonna win. I'm winning. We're Big winning. Time. Big time. The next question is what do you miss about uni and your favorite things about Central? Why are all the questions to you? Let me see what I miss about uni. There's really nothing much I the, the, the person of the person asked me. And she wasn't about me. Fine answer. What do they you put Central University, not Chelsea. Okay, what do you miss Obviously. about uni? You know, my boys, you know what I'm saying? My boys, my boys. You know, when, when, when we are together, you forget you forget everything. You know, you forget that there's bromance. life. You know, yeah, it's not bromance. It's not bromance. <laughs> okay. But yeah. And then, yeah. what's your but favorite say, thing about Central? Mm. <laughs> favorite number Central, I don't have any favorite number Central. No, the only, the, the fact that it's, it's isolated, like, it's away from the context okay, and the that's crowd. true that's Same for Chelsea. but yeah, it was yeah. a little bit annoying because you could, if you want basic things like in the market for things to cook you have to go all the way that's for Chelsea. Then the rest is around me okay because we're on a hill too but can mm. I now say what time is about that? Mm. 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 I guess thank you so <laughs> um, I guess my life after uni is kind of similar to my life in university so actually the best thing <laughs> I do miss my friends in the dance club. I do miss those people. Like having been having that community, you know, I miss that. What a dance club for you? The coots. <laughs> the yeah, dance. I miss that definitely. Okay, so the next question is: Has there been any moments you didn't want to be related to Emma in any way? Oh, no. I respect that. Uh -huh. Same here. Nah, nah. Uh, Who is your favorite sibling? I was his favorite sibling growing up. Well, she said it, so she said it. I'm not saying it. But it's the truth now. She said it. I know, is it the truth? She said it. If she gave her out, I would have been forced to say it. But she said it. So I won't say it. But when I say I know it makes a head big. And I don't want that. So she said it. I don't have a favorite sibling. I have, I would say, the sibling she I can be more real with is Echo. He's the last one. Like we are very real with each other, so I, I love that friendship. Right now, yeah. I don't have a favorite sibling. I'm thinking in the past when I was small, attention seeker. This one was the one because there's this thing about life. If you read the 48 laws of power, mystery is power. When I go to see this girl, then she's sucking me, sucking me. You wonder, it makes you feel like there's a mystery around this person, and you keep wanting to go. That's why wow. I didn't read 48 laws of power. So me, I, I, nobody's my favorite. She can look at me the way she looks. Uh, uh. Give me two years, and ask all of them that same question again. 
you see the all the points now. Charlie, what are you talking about? It just my favorite. Just, just give me. See, see yes, it drop. We can vibe. I I can vibe with my brothers. Like that's the, that's what I love about having brothers. Like we vibe. But the person I can be very like frank with is Echo. And he with Eja, I can't I don't really take be. Bullshit, I can't. That's, why. that's not true. That's and because why. he, you're kind of sensitive. Uh not not in the in the emotional way, but it's like if you, you're not giving the respect you are uh, asking for. Like then you hurt his feelings, and I really don't have time for that. It's fair. I mean, am I wrong? I come with a lot, so I quite a lot. It's simple. One plus two is equal to five. Then asking the school I went to. It's my mother that took me. <laughs> Yo, what is one thing you miss doing when you were small? I miss being happy for no reason. That'll always be something. I I'm don't hit you. Uh, it's not like this hit me. It's just awareness. You know when you. So when you're small, you're not aware. Mm. Fair enough. That's yeah, true. Yeah, okay, they're not As they grow, they realize what life is, and then you know they just tend to shut down certain parts of themselves. For they me, or you? Kids. Kids. All of us. Oh. There are certain parts of ourselves that we shut down because of what we realize in terms of life. Everybody, if you're being honest, there's something about you that you shut down, and probably when you find a soulmate and you get married and you're living happily ever after, that makes you release that part of you because it will feel safe. You know, so we've all shut out some parts because life, you know, the world is cold. You know? The world is a freezer. <laughs> so the world is a freezer. You're just so sweet. Yeah, and I also love the fact that we also used to play our own games in the house, like the rubber tag. You, you, you remember the rubber tag game? Charlie, Charlie. That thing will scare you, but like, you know, it's fear and joy at the same time. Yeah, the person, the person, the length that the person has pulled the thing. <laughs> but like, ah! Yeah, crazy. Uh, the next question is um. But she's asking me a lot of frivolous questions. Frivolous. <laughs> Bro, next question. Make it go. What would the other It was describe each other. Ah, that was the last one on that set. Okay, somebody sent me a personal message saying, the person asked, would you let any of your friends date me? Or would you let me date your friend? I don't give a fuck. I don't know the person is cool, like Bronson. Okay. I know he's yeah. high. I mean, but... who are you to tell me who I should date? Well? Give that player like Kobe Bryant. Fuck no. Fuck no. Basically, whoever he dates, whatever he does, he's a grown, he's a grown ass man. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. I feel like, like we attract people who are very opposite to us. Therefore, the, and and we, are, we hang around with people who are very similar to us. So we can definitely attract people who are. I can't date someone in your circle because I don't relate like that. Makes sense. I don't know if, it doesn't even make sense to me. But it sound, like, sound like sound like something sensible. Anyways, the next thing. What was the next thing? Oh yeah, I think that's it. Thank you, Gabriel, for. I hate this thing. Thank you, Jack, for being on. Yeah, that was Gabriel. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like you're trying to be. Maybe like mine's Emma. I thought you like to go with your English name. But anyways, you guys, let's say thank you to Jack for being uh, in this video. Answer some of your questions. If you're a girl, let's um, say thank you to me. You know, the best way to say thank you to me. She mentions me on the app, tags me, whatever you guys do on social media. She does, but I'm gonna slide into my DM, you know, you know what's up. And that's none of my concern. It's none of my concern anymore. It ain't even worth it no more. It ain't even worth it. So if you're interested, pull up. Slide in my DMs, you know what I'm talking about? better all right <laughs> all right so that was it and i'm always me a couple of dollars for doing this you know because i don't i don't i don't you know just give up my time like that but well it was great you know it was great you know she had me you know i'm just from work just from work um as you can see where i work along to wear my earring you know because that's what you know, we don't live the normal Ghanaian you know, tradition you know, they allow us to I'm trying to understand where all this is. Who was asking? Just do the fucking outro, man. This is the outro, and we out. We out. So like, subscribe, share. <laughs> You're so silly. Don't worry, he's just teasing me. So please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you guys for watching this video. And yeah, catch you in the other one. Have a good one, bro.